Hello, greetings from a very sunny and a very cold Helsinki today. I'm going to introduce four of Philly's top picks. All of these four books are linked to each other by the idea of different kinds of relationships. And the first one is by Marisha Rasikoskinen, and it's called Rek. Now, Marisha Rasikoskinen has already won the Finlandia Junior Prize for her earlier novels. And now um, her new novel, Rec, which is written more for an adult audience, uh, it was awarded the uh, Torchbearer Prize, which is given to books that have exceptional export potential. And in February, it was also awarded the esteemed Runeberry Prize. Rec is fragmentary, it's challenging, and it's abundant but it's also very rewarding. Its form is unique and it includes many stories within stories. In fact, the structure of the novel itself and the language really are what makes this such a unique and extraordinary work. Next up, we have the new novel by Schelvester, uh, which is called Tritonos, Tritone. Schelvester is a Finland-Swedish author. He has plenty of readers all across the world. Music plays an important part in all of his novels. And in this most recent novel, Tritone, um, he takes us even deeper into the world of classical music um, through the eyes of a successful conductor called Thomas Brander. Now the loneliness of middle age is weighing down on him and his physical health isn't what it used to be. And so Brander begins to build a house called Tritone out in the Finnish archipelago, a place where he stands out from, from the local community in many ways. Little by little he finds a, a role for himself within that community and learns a thing or two about the power of friendship along the way. Next, a novel by Ida Pimenov called Kutsu Minut. Um, I wasn't there. Ida Pimenov uh, is a Helsinki-based photographer, and she's already published three books of um, photographical works uh, in Germany. I Wasn't There is her brand new debut novel, and it's a very strong start. The novel's central question is, how many times can we abandon someone? Set in present-day Helsinki, the novel's protagonist has to deal in particular with the question of fatherlessness. The book is intense, sharp, and it's a very touching book about humanity and one that it's hard to put down. However, I will now put it down and move on to the final book, which is another debut novel, this time by Terhi Kokkonen, uh, and it's called Rayama, Arctic Mirage. As a singer, Terhi Kokkonen belonged to one of the most popular Finnish bands of all time. Last year, she published a novel, and which was immediately awarded the prize for best debut novel of the year. The novel is set in Lapland, where a Helsinki couple find themselves caught up in a mysterious car accident, meaning they're unable to return to their lives as they had planned. Neither the characters nor the readers know what is true and what isn't, and things do not end well.